Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wasserstein Premium Solar Panel for the Google Nest Camera. I'm going to be unboxing it, taking a look, testing it out, and giving you my thoughts on it. Full disclosure before we start, this product was provided to me at no cost from the manufacturer. So thank you to them for giving it to me to give you an honest review of. So let's open it up and take a look. There we have the solar panel in there. Just give you a quick look at the box before we discard that. All right. So we have in here our user's manual, which gives us the information on the solar panel itself, installation uh, steps and instructions here. And in the box itself, we have our solar panel with our cable. And this is important with the Google Nest camera uh, because this has their proprietary connector on it. So you got to make sure you get the panel that is compatible with that. We also have our mounting bracket to attach the solar panel to wherever you choose to mount it and three included screws for the mounting hardware. And that is everything in the box there. So there's your solar panel. You get a pretty good length cord here, which is good. And that way you can mount the camera where it needs to be and get this far enough um, away. So. Yeah, you've got plenty of cord. <laughs> uh, and make sure you get plenty of cord there uh, to be able to mount this where you get proper sunlight and get this to where you need to charge your camera, which is great if your camera's in an overhang or a shaded spot. You wanna make sure you have plenty of length there for that. Mount here, this is plastic here. Um, so it is a plastic mount. Same thing with the uh, solar panel here. This is gonna be plastic material. Um, as far as the quality of the solar panel, we'll find that out once we get it set up um, and let you know how that charges it. Um, the specifications on the box are that it is 3.5 watts max charging at 5 volt. You have your operating temperatures there. Um, and yes, it says there the cable is 13 feet if you're interested in that. So that is everything in the box. Um, we're going to mount this and plug it into my Google Nest cameras that I have. Um, what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to actually plug it into one that's obviously not fully charged and to kind of give you an idea of how quickly it is able to charge it. Does it charge it well? Does it have any connectivity issues? And um, we'll be looking at over the course of a couple days. So stay tuned here and we're going to get this mounted and installed. All right, so here we are. We're getting the solar panel mounted up onto the roof here. Uh, you just have to find a good spot where you can mount it. Um, obviously, you don't want to drill a hole into your roof where it's going to leak. So if you do do this on top of the roof, make sure you have like some waterproofing. Um, in this case here, I'm just putting it into the side of a overhang. So no issue here if any water leaks through. Good line of sight there. You can go ahead and get that attached on. And then I've uh, just got it plugged into the camera there. And I've got the solar panel con connected there where it has some visibility to the sun. Got a lot of trees in the backyard, um, but that position there should work just fine. And then you can see once you plug in that charger, it will show that it's charging solar. Um, that is because the connector here is unique for the solar panel. Um, very different than the connector that you would have just to charge the camera regularly. So that's how the camera knows it is plugged in. And um, that's how you get it set up. Um, I had my camera was down to about 20% battery. I want to hook this up. We had a couple overcast days, so um, I wasn't really actually able to do a good test. The first couple days actually seemed to notice the charge go down a little bit. And to check that charge, I actually had to unplug the charger from the camera because if it's plugged into solar, it's just going to say solar in the app. And it won't show you the actual battery level. 
But after giving, giving it a couple days um, of good sunlight, and I checked it again and it was up to the 70%, which is what they state in the owner's manual is what it will charge up to is 70%. And that is um, to extend the life of the battery. So it'll keep it right at 70%. So if you see that, if you get one of these and you're checking it and you're like, it's never getting above 70%, that is in the manual that it is designed to not charge beyond that point. So that should be expected 70% or even maybe slightly below. All in all, uh, I think it's a great product. Uh, it, it worked as expected. It's very straightforward. You're just plugging in the charging cable to the camera and mounting that solar panel wherever you want to mount it. Um, you can get creative and flexible with it as long as it has access to the sun for a couple hours a day. Like I said, in my backyard there where that is, um, it doesn't get direct sunlight for more than a couple hours. It, it will get some sunlight um, kind of from the side and then it starts hitting the trees. So that's all it took for me. That is also the back door. So it gets regular activity events monitored throughout the day and I did bump the setting of the camera up to the standard record time so when they're running only on battery I would always have them to maximize battery I set this to um, kind of that balance view you get in this in the settings of the app there all that's to say it keeps up with the um, needs of the camera um, yeah so there you go the link is in the description if you want to check out this product on Amazon um, that is my affiliate link down there helps out the channel and like i said i received the product for free in exchange for a, a review but great product and uh probably will be looking at maybe picking up a couple more myself that way i don't have to worry about charging the cameras as you end up having to do every couple months and um can sometimes be annoying when you don't feel like pulling your camera down and uh dealing with charging it for a day uh, if you have any questions about the product, feel free to shoot them down in the comments below. Um, or if you have questions about the Google uh, cameras um, link or uh, give me a comment down below. Again, links in the description if you would like to look at this product on Amazon and uh, purchase it. Thanks guys for watching.